Hey folks, so I hope you all enjoyed watching the paper tray video which I was able to post for you on the main channel last Saturday. Now in response to a lot of the questions about university and everything I thought I would do this video blog and it's in fact the first video blog that I've done since uh, August of 2013 so it's been a really long time but before I get to all of that I thought I would quickly mention Carter & Son Toolworks. If you haven't heard of them Carter & Son Toolworks are a small family run business who are manufacturing these beautiful wood turning tools. They mailed me a little while ago asking whether I'd be interested in trying out their wood turning tools and they were kind enough to send me both their spindle gouge and bowl gouge from the US which was really cool. In all likelihood I won't be doing a full video review of these chisels. At the end of the day these are premium turning chisels and although they are very well priced they're still fairly expensive and probably out of the price range of most of my subscriber basis. I know that a lot of you are working on a fairly restricted budget. That being said, if you guys are interested, I'm sure I can arrange something. But for the time being, I know that Carl Jacobson has posted a tool review for these chisels. So if you're interested in watching that, I'll post a link in the description for you. Right, so moving on. In last Saturday's video, a lot of people commented asking what I was doing at the moment. I did mention in the video that I was studying here at Loughborough University, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. I'm studying product design engineering, which I suppose if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, shouldn't come as much of a surprise as you might be able to understand. It's something which sort of suits my strengths fairly well and should be something that keeps me interested for a fairly long time. Right, so next question, why are your videos so infrequent? Any course at college will keep you very busy indeed and engineering many would argue is even worse and not only is there all of the work involved but there's also loads of extracurricular activities for us to get involved with. I in fact am doing uh, Ultimate Frisbee and Badminton at the moment so all of that combined really does leave me with very little spare time. When I can though I do try and spend some time here editing videos for you but the main issue I do have is that actually I don't have much of a backlog of video footage to edit because uh, in the summer I wasn't able to get loads done I was still working on the router duplicator and I got that finished so the backlog which I have to edit for you now is really not that extensive and so hopefully when the summer does come this time around I'll be able to get some video footage under my belt and I'll be able to upload for you a bit more regularly. I would actually really like to continue doing these video blogs because unlike the videos on the main channel where my only opportunity to film anything is whilst I'm at home for the holidays I can actually just sit in here in my room like I'm doing now and just talk to the camera and let you know how things are going and what I've been up to and so I, I should be able to continue doing some of these where I have the time. Some of the things that people asked me to do on my last video were to perhaps do a campus tour or sort of explain what my course is about and uh, sort of the things that I do as part of the course and other things like sort of doing a tour of my room that kind of thing and those are potentially things that I can do here on this channel if there's enough demand for it there's no point in me doing it if there's just sort of one or two people who are interested in that but if there's 20 30 people who are asking about it I could potentially do that and try and make the time for it that actually leads me on to a question which I have for you guys and that is what would you like to see? And that could be on this channel if you like, but I'm really mainly talking about my main woodworking channel. Although just like every other woodworker, I have a list of woodworking projects which I'd quite like to do the length of my arm. I think it would give the most value to my channel if I'm to do projects which you guys are interested in or the projects that you're asking for. I of course won't be able to do absolutely everything that you guys ask for, but if there's certain ideas which are 
I think sound really interesting or have a really wide appeal to people perhaps who aren't woodworkers but would still find the project interesting then I'm certainly going to do those sorts of projects. So if it's something that you fancy helping me with I would really appreciate any ideas that you can send and I'll look forward to seeing them. One idea that I was sent recently was to do a Draw My Life video and if you don't know what that is then just type it into YouTube and thousands of videos about that sort of thing will come up and you'll be able to get a bit of a sense of what they're all about. Now to be honest I'm not sure if that sort of video really sort of suits my life. I can't say that anything truly sort of interesting or traumatic has happened. I, I consider myself really very lucky generally so whether or not that sort of thing would really be that interesting to watch I don't know but who knows if I get enough requests for it maybe one day you might see it. <laughs> I think that just about does it for this video. Just before I go, once again a really big thank you to Carter and Son Toolworks for sending me their tools. I am really looking forward to having a go with them when I get back home for Easter. So thanks to you guys. I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.